The Indian American Cultural Association of Westchester, IACAW, is gearing up to celebrate the 24th annual Heritage of India Festival on Sunday, August 4th from noon to 6 p.m. at the scenic Kensico Dam Plaza in Valhalla. This vibrant event showcases Indian culture and heritage in the tri-state area. We had the privilege of speaking with three influential leaders of IACAW who have played pivotal roles in fostering cultural appreciation and community engagement. While the full interview will be aired soon, let's enjoy some excerpts from their inspiring conversation. I know you guys have traveled so much to come to our studio. So how are you guys feeling? Great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So let me start with you, Rohit Ji, first. Let's uh, talk uh, about IACAW, its mission, its objectives. The yeah, IACAW started in 1973 in Westchester County mm -hmm. in the state of New York. Ever since the association has grown lips and bound, we have been doing a variety of programs, variety of events that takes place and all. And many, many people, they come and participate in various events and all that. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing of the association is promoting the art and culture, taking care of each other within the community and whatnot, and let the other individuals of uh, non-Indian backgrounds to make them a familiar with our culture and our traditions and all. So that's what we have been doing it, hmm. promoting art and culture and everything else. Wonderful. And I know my next question goes to, of course, Suchitra. And I know she has been like keenly listening to what Rohitji is saying. So tell us, you know, how has this festival kind of evolved over like 24 years? Sure. <clears throat> so as Rohit Bhai described our mission, our vision is always to be an outstanding pillar of support hmm. for all communities, right? Hmm. Indian communities, non-Indian communities within our area. And we have slowly, by leaps and bounds, expanded our reach into the tri-state area. By the way, that includes New Jersey, Connecticut, the rest of the New York state. Um, our mission has always been, how do you promote culture and art? But over the years, we have evolved in growing it in many aspects. For example, sports is a critical part of Indian culture, right? Mm -hmm. We don't ignore that aspect. We actually promote sports. Um, we have sponsored many sports uh, uh, com competitions like carom, for example. We have cricket demonstrations so that it actually spreads as part of the core Indian values, right? right? And then there are, we have now grown our youth organizations. So there is something for everyone to participate in it. We have Senior Citizen Day every last Sunday of the month. Wow. So seniors, and believe me, seniors look forward to this program. If we cancel it once, we hear it forever from the, the grandmothers and the grandfathers saying, why did you cancel it? I was looking forward to it. Absolutely. I think it's a good way for seniors, especially to Correct. go out and do stuff. Correct. It and is. our reach is from anyone participating in it at all age groups. Hmm. So we are expanding that mission by always keeping the values at, at, um, uh, in clear vision and sight. Wonderful. So I want to go back to Rohit Ji and yes. just let's talk about this year's, the 24th Annual Heritage of India Festival. Let's talk about the highlights and attractions. It has been 23 years that we have been doing this, not counting the uh, COVID era time and all that. And this hmm. is the 24th one. Hmm. As we look at the society at large, what we have here is most four components of our current era and uh, that is science, technology, engineering and the medicine. Mm. So that our theme and the most highlight of the uh, program based on the STEM and uh, many youths they are going to come and uh, talk about that. There will be some articles and all that, some literature that we will have it on display under our activity tents and whatnot. And uh, 
uh, our youth group members, they are going to come and speak about their experience and what they have written in our brochure that is going to come out on the day of uh, the Heritage Festival, which is the August 4th. Hmm. So that will be the big, big, big highlight. Absolutely. I know uh, this beautiful young lady, she knows a lot about STEM and I want to ask you, 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 why don't you talk about the STEM, which is the main highlight, the main theme of your this year's festival. Talk about it and I also want to know why STEM. So the reason behind STEM was really stemming from some of us newbies in the organization who have, you know, kids in the age groups where nothing can run without technology, hmm. right? And even for us, you know, every day we have to be creative about how to deliver the cultural messages and teach the values and beliefs to our kids and the next generation to come. And we have to know all sorts of technological advances in the hmm. world if you want to have a decent conversation with them. So we thought this would be the perfect marriage of where the world is headed, right? Everything mm. is relying on technology, no matter what field. You know, today, even horoscopes, you submit to an app and the app can tell you, exactly. you know, what your future looks like. Yes. And at the same time, you know, we want to celebrate what India has become, mm. right? Landing on the moon, mm -hmm. right? India is now serving as a technological backbone and the brain for many, many global organizations and the world. And while we, you know, we definitely play the peacemaker, we, I think, are strongly rooted in our culture and values. And, you know, all of us really strongly feel that the root and the foundation of that culture is what allows us to reach those heights in all these fields that we are now seeing a lot of emergence of, of what India has contributed and Indian Americans have mm -hmm. contributed in, in these fields. So that's one aspect, it's the right. philosophy behind the team, but also we are making it very innovative. This year we're going to have um, technological interactive uh, arts and crafts for the kids. Hmm. Our youth committee, which is upcoming since last year, they have actually come around and volunteered to talk about some of those Indian American contributors who have made major contributions in this field. And we're really trying to pass the message that culture isn't everything, even if it is STEM or non-STEM fields. Mm. But we also want to celebrate the advances in the STEM field, along with celebrating our culture so our youth can see both sides and how it can be amalgamated to kind of lay a really beautiful foundation for the future generation to come. Yeah. So yeah. any closing thoughts, any messages you have for the Indian diaspora? Um, yes. We bring our born motherland to our adopted motherland. The feeling is such, but that doesn't mean you have to be an Indian to come and attend it. You could be born of any other country. You could be born in America. You will still find something to enjoy. So it is open for all and we welcome each and every one with open arms. Um, my other takeaway is come be a part of something bigger than you because you will become bigger than what you are today. Very beautifully said, very beautiful. You. Supriya, you want to say anything in the end? I think everyone said such beautiful thoughts, but I, I do want to, you know, give a heartfelt welcome to everyone who, you know, is interested in coming and exploring this mini world that we stand up for a day and experience India at its best. So come join us and we look forward to not only having you join us this year, but hoping to see you more in the next year and even maybe getting involved with us exactly. in our mission and vision. Um, wonderful. What we are doing here is trying to educate and make our kids and all our neighbors and all to be a familiar with the Indian culture that has a lot to offer. Hmm. The, uh, if you look at the India and Indian uh, culture and all that, that is more than 5,000 year old, right? So that has a lot to offer. And on the foundation and the pillar of that, the ISAW would like to just make sure that we shape the future in a way where we can raise our future generation in a right way and make them familiar with what our roots are, what our culture are and what we have and what we can offer. That's Wonderful. Cool. And that's beautifully said. And I would like to wish 
all the best to all three of you. And I'm sure it's going to be a great, great event. And thank you so much. Thank you.